G'day there, Andrew Hebel here from the Association of Australian Convention Bureau. In my end of year update, it is simply too hard to ignore the impact COVID-19 had on our business events industry. The shutdown and varying travel and gathering restrictions around the country have had devastating impacts on the business events businesses and our people. But if we can look to any positive outcomes from this crisis, these would include our entrepreneurial spirit, driving new innovations to help people meet online and in person during the pandemic, and our successful collaboration across all sectors of the business events industry to speak with one voice and engage constructively with government. At AACB, Katrina and I have volunteered around 50% of our time to support this one voice principle by the Business Events Council of Australia since April, and commend the AACB board for taking the higher moral ground placing a priority focus on successful outcomes for our industry. We look forward to Austrade releasing the approved schedule of business events anytime now, with the $50 million business events grant program expected to distribute much needed funds throughout 2021 to restart the industry, build confidence in demand and support the supply chain. The transition to 2021 will also provide opportunity. At our recent AGM, AACB elected a refreshed executive team led by Michael Matthews of the Canberra Convention Bureau, with Julia Swanson of the Melbourne Convention Bureau joining as Treasurer, and Brett Fraser of Brisbane Economic Development Agency moving to Vice President. Likewise, the recent government reshuffle of ministerial portfolios sees Dan Tian take over the role of Minister for Trade, Tourism and Investment, while Simon Birmingham moves to Minister for Finance. We thank the outgoing Trade Minister for his acknowledgement of the trade and investment opportunities derived from international business events, enhancing the business events bid fund and securing $50 million to restart the industry in response to COVID-19. Minister Tian will be able to build on this solid foundation as an advocate within Cabinet, positioning business events as a platform to drive international capital and grow our economy. Now, while Christmas for many has been turned upside down, including my own family, with ongoing COVID disruptions, we will get through this. 2021 will be a year of continued collaboration and consolidation to make Australia's business events industry the most effective and efficient in the world. I look forward to seeing you next at AIM in March, where the industry comes together to do business and share new ideas. Until then, have a Merry Christmas, stay safe and see you in the new year.